we often talk about the many features of Google and the Google Suite and all the different power that it comes with, but we don't often talk about Google Calendar and we even less so talk about Google Rooms and that's what we're going to talk about today. Google Rooms inside of Google Calendar provide us this great power and ability to see what rooms are available inside of district in our own buildings and add that into our appointments and our invites, which really makes it look more professional both in district and out and makes it so much easier to know what's already going on. So let's give this a try. All right, I'm logged in as John Zumwalt again into his Gmail account here. And in the upper right hand corner, I'm gonna click on the nine dots and go to his calendar and you can see John's not a very exciting guy just yet. He needs a few more appointments in here. We're going to fix that for him. Uh, but the first thing that we want to take a look at is the, the room we're most worried about or most interested in. In my case, I want to see the technology conference center that we have here at district office. And that's where I want to book a meeting at. So I'm going to click over on the left hand side next to add calendar. I'm going to click on the three dots and browse resources. This is going to let me see every meeting room we already have in the system in the district. So I can select from whatever building I want to. I'm interested in district office right now. So I'm gonna drop down on that and you can see I've got four different conference rooms to choose from. I'm interested in the tech room. So I'm gonna click on the check box next to that. And then I can go back here in my settings. And now I see appointments on my calendar. These appointments are color coded, they're orange. And if I come over here on my list of calendars, I see orange is our technology conference center. So now I know I'm seeing the events in there. Um, I'm interested in scheduling an appointment for Friday afternoon and I can see you oh cool awesome there's nothing going on in that room Friday afternoon so I'm going to select three o'clock on Friday um, and I'm going to give it a title I'm wanting to do a hands-on demo with someone else on on how to use a different technology and I can see my date and my time I've got that all in here and I'm going to go to more options inside of here I can add a description anything that I would want to provide to the people that are going to join me and I can also add guests and in this case I want to invite Jane Zumwalt as well to join this meeting and so I've added her in my guest list but now there's this other section here called rooms so I can search for any available room in the district that's the default if you see this drop down here I can see available and include unavailable and we'll get to that in a second um, I only want to search available rooms I'm going to look at district office awesome the tech conference room is available I can go ahead and, and select it. You'll notice that once you select it, it comes in as the location. So now that room is in my location field. It's also going to be provided to anyone I invite to this meeting. So they're going to know exactly where this meeting is being held at without having to add that into our description here. Um, now, coming back here, I can include unavailable rooms. And the interesting thing on that is I can see I would not have been able to select the South Conference Room. That one's already in use for that time. So this feature shows me what rooms are available and I can have my meetings in. So I don't even have to worry about knowing whether I can use a room or not. When I get there, it's going to be open for me and I can use it. So that's really it. I can add a description here if I want to, but I'm going to click Save. And I do want to send email invitations out to my guests. So I'm going to click Send on that. And you can see my calendar now has my appointment on it. But then an orange one shows up, that's for the conference room. And that is showing that the conference room is now booked for that 3 p.m. meeting that I have. Um, this starts out white because it's tentative. The system automatically goes through and approves it. Once it's approved, it becomes a dark color. So now it's a full orange. I know that this meeting is scheduled for me in that room and that room is not available for others. That's really all there is to using rooms. One other thing that I will add for you, if there are rooms that are out there in your buildings and they don't exist yet and you want them to, put in an IT work order. We'll be happy to create those rooms for you. Um, we do it from the tech side just so that we know that people can't add or delete rooms that don't necessarily exist. We can uh, make sure that they stay in there. It's not dependent on a user login. It's in the system for everyone to use. So send us your rooms. We'll be happy to get those generated for you and have fun using Google Calendar Rooms.